Hey guys, I just finished my mini. Um, this was a kit sent to me by Sherry Scrappin' and Rappin'. And I just love this paper. It's the Jubilee Collection by Kane Company. So I wanted to show you, and also I got the cinch, so I I did the binding like that. And that was super easy, guys. I really recommend. All you have to do is read the instructions one time and you're good. And I decided I would make a flip book because she included these. I just think it was really cool, but she included these um, shorter pieces for the co for covers. I think she was going to make something, and then she just sent them to me. Thought maybe I could use them, and I decided I would put lace down here, and I was going to do it this way, which I thought was cute. But I was thinking about the binding, and then I thought oh, I'll do a flip book because that would be nice. So that's what I'm doing. So let's go a little bit closer. This says love. And I used my alcohol inks for those. Hope and peace. And I used one of those um, new charms I got. And I alcohol inked it with eggplant and currant. Cranberry, not currant, cranberry. Okay, so there's everything. I'll show you. I'll tell you what I included in the in the this album that wasn't included in the kit. Like the charm was mine and the facet was mine, but she put the fragments in there. Put, all this was from her, so I included that. I used my um, Dusty Concord Distress Ink and then my um, Distress Distress Crackle Paint on both of these actually. And I love, this is the pewter one, so I love the look of that. And this is a rub on here, here, and here. And I love this thinking of you. So I can put another title here or a picture. And, you know, I think I'm going to keep this one because I really like it. And I got the lace down there. So it flips and it comes this way. And I love this lady. I had to have her in my project. And I've got her bling there. And that's super sweet. I might put some stickles here. I just thought right now, but. I'm pretty happy with the paper, so, and what I did, what I came up with, and this is a piece, and she included that too. I added these, um, I wanted to use them, and I really love them on the corners, so that was fun. Just on the first page, I used it. This paper is so gorgeous. She included all these cut borders too, so I made use of them. All the laces on her. And all of this, everything was from her, so that's so cool. And I've got the rub ons that she included too. And she also had stamps and the kit too. So I had a lot of fun. And this one's like this. And oh, I, I used my Glimmer Mist and my Smooch Spritz in the pewter, which looks great. I just love that shimmer. And I love the turquoise diamonds and then this side is says celebrate and then another butterfly I just love it and I also dyed the lace and smooched it yeah I got some tags back here and this one also made little pockets Oop. Knocked off my tissues. I can't get rid of my cold guys. It's coming back, but I think I did too much scrapping today. But I had so much fun. Okay, and this one. And I used my Tim Holtz um, film strip. In that I just had a lot of fun using my Tim Holtz products and I did the eggplant on this with my alcohol inks and I had a leftover piece of border and I used it here so there's a little pocket Super cute. so cute love the paper it's just gorgeous and there's um flower with some diamonds, some bling, another butterfly. 
and another transparency. This is a rub on here too. And this is my clip I used from Tim Holtz. And then this is another border she included. I use pretty much all my paper to make, I'm glad she included extras because I can make all my tags. I like to include tags. So I think this is gonna be this year's pictures or I'm gonna fill it up as I go along. I love it so much. And she included a big tag and I decided to use it in my mini like this. And now I have my scent so I can do that. So I'm really happy. So I just did some tearing and some distressing. This is, um, got a brad and a couple tags here. All these punched ones were in the kit too. And the stickers. Really cool. And there's another one. I've just got rub ones down the side. And love, as I love the paper. And there's another lady there. I'm going to put stickles on her, on her thing, maybe some on her roses there. But basically it's finished. And then I left the love up so you could slide something underneath. Oh, I used my um, pieces here by Tim Holtz. I love these. Again, eggplant because it's purple. Oh, I just love my flash. I had so much fun doing that this morning. And she included the Tim Holtz journaling spot too and this is also has a space so I can put a picture underneath here in the background and she sent me a couple extra butterflies so I used all of them in the kit and this was gorgeous I don't know what you found this Sherry I want more <laughs> tell me where you got these because I love them and actually it was it was white but I used my cranberry to get that effect and isn't it gorgeous beautiful that's one of my charms there I have to glue it down later I think it's gonna fall off and oh I did that side and then it flips over and then the back is just like this so also on the back it's like that and I've got some smooch a little bit on this doily but it's hard to see this is also open so I can put a picture here maybe I was thinking on the back so and then I'll write um, when this was created right here by me so that is my Jubilee collection from Sherry so in love with it thank you so much and um, Go check out her Etsy. She makes wonderful kits. And I've had no jobs, no work. I would do that totally. I would get kits all the time from her. And I would just make kits. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to go take a break or go to bed. Get better. But I had so much fun. Also, if you didn't see, here's my Coffee Sleep Mini that I made yesterday. So I had my fill of scrapping this weekend. Maybe too much, but it was so much fun. Okay, have a good day. Bye.